guys, it's Huff. I am back in. This is going to be an update of my Project 50 Pan Roulette that I have been doing since last year. I will go through the things that I had finished up or met my goals on first, and then I'll get into the other stuff. Um, so the first one was this Grace Cole hand cream in pineapple passion fruit. This has actually since been put into another project, another roulette project, but um, I had met my goals on this one. There was the eyeshadow to hit pan on in the That's Heart palette from BH Cosmetics, which is that one there. As you can see, it has pan on it. We have the blusher to hit pan. Um, and you can see I hit pan, which I thought was a really strange place to hit pan. That is where I hit pan. Um, we have the... Uh, photo shoot foundation from W7, which I ended up destashing because it had oxidized on my skin. We have the Estee Lauder oops, Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. Um, this started to transfer quite badly and be all flaky and weird, so I finished with that one. We have the Harvey Prince Damask Rose Perfume Sample. We have the Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX in Milk, which I, I, I took out of the project because I don't get that pencil. <laughs> we have the Urban Skin Care Co. Body Balm. Um, the Burt's Bees pink grapefruit lip gloss which I would totally buy again. I really really like that one. The Neon and Co treatment oil for hair which was more like water than oil. The Suntivity Ultralight uh, face fluid in SPF 30. I hated this stuff. It smells like Elmer's glue and it is very liquidy and weird. So I took that out. Um, the Organic Care Fig and Papaya Moisturising Nourishing Body Wash. Um, I didn't care for the smell of this one, so I'm glad I finished that one up. The Nivea Day Cream with Sun... Uh, what was that? Uh, yeah. All done. This is the daytime one. I use the nighttime one up in another project. So that one's done. Oops. The High Lift Cureplex Bond Sustainer, which is like um, Olaplex, just a different brand. The Rimmel Vinyl Max Lip Glaze in Hypnotic, which I did to stash because it made my lips feel weird and I did not like it. The Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara had started to dry up and go flaky and clumpy and transfer, which is a no-no. Two mascaras here so far. Hmm. The uh, Stralis Mint Condition Lip Gloss, I distashed this because it was actually drying my lips out, not moisturising them. Uh, the... Charcoal, purifying charcoal mask from Derma E. It took me a couple of uses, um, but it is now gone. The, uh, the Avon La Femme perfume, which I had um, like five little samples and I put them all into this little atomizer thingy, what's it? The Essie Beyond Cozy Nail Polish which looks like it's got heaps in it, but it was down here and or probably below that and basically it chipped as soon as I put it on like my nails and stuff and it's thick and gloopy and disgusting. The Lacura face power serum stuff was kind of a gimme. Um, ok, 
Okay, so we have the two that I got rid of last time, which were actually newer additions, which was the Rimmel Scandalized Thick Thin Eyeliner, which it was basically brand new, but this thing is... You have to, even when you work at it, it's patchy and it's just terrible. I mean, that's supposed to be black. I hated it, so I go rid of it. And the other one was the So Susan Mascara. This is one of those formulas that is so wet that it never actually dries. Um, so like an hour after I put it on, it would still feel like it was like wet and it would transfer and... It was just terrible. And the lighting is really weird, and I'm sorry. Um, so the one thing I did actually manage to use up this this since I last did a checkup, I have, like an update, I have not had a very good run over the last month. But I did use the face mask, the C1 Lon Vita Light uh, face mask, whitening, pigment, toning, moisturizing facial mask. I don't know if it did anything, but I'm pretty sure that something like that you wouldn't be able to tell after only using it once. Um, but, you know, it was fine. It didn't make my skin burn. It didn't make it itch or do any of those crazy fun things. So, yeah. So I'm just going to stick all of this stuff back in its container. And then we will get on to the things that are still in the project. So, first up, we have the Honolulu... Honolulu bronzer which I'm supposed to be hitting pan in and as you can see there is actually pan in here but that's because I broke it um, I'm actually using it more as an eyeshadow and sort of working in this area I honestly haven't used it it's kind of got lost in the drawer more than anything else the MAC Vegas Fault I've worn it a couple of times but you wouldn't know because the line never seems to move um, this is a fairly bright pinky orange, which I really like. Um, the iTeeny Swizzle Stick in Midnight Cowboy. Um, I mainly use this underneath my, um, like in my waterline, in my upper waterline, even though it's kind of, even though that's kind of grey, um, I use it in my upper waterline because it doesn't move around. Um, so it's going really, really slowly, like, Super duper slowly. So I have put a new line on. Uh, so this is the eye teeny one here. It's where we started and that's basically where we are now. So it's very slow moving. I still have quite a lot to go. Um, but that's fine because as I said I like it. It's one of the few eyeliners that I haven't had that transfers really badly. Next, we have the Eyebrow Stylist from Essence. I'm basically just trying to use, like, the top half of it, and I'm, I'm getting there. I will insert a picture of where it was last time, but I've almost hit pan right there, so I'm trying to work up in this corner and just use it up. a nice eyebrow powder. Works well with one of the other products that is in this particular challenge, um, which I'll get to in a minute. So next we have the Star Looks Ultra Olive Eyeliner. Um, this one hasn't really moved and that's mainly because I haven't sharpened it. If I'd sharpened it, it would have. That's it. There. It's kind of like a dark olivey with sparkles in it. I tend to use this underneath my eye, so it, again, I don't really use a lot, but it is a very soft pencil, so um, you tend to have to sharpen it fairly regularly to keep a point on it. But as I said, it hasn't really moved from the last time, mainly because I haven't sharpened it. Then we have the colourful lip product, which was this W7 pink lipstick, which doesn't actually have a name, it is just a pink lipstick. And by pink, I mean pink. <laughs> um, I have worn this a couple of times. Um, so, oops. So that is this one 
here. Uh, so that is where we are now. So there's still a bit to, to go. I mean, it is really only a mini, but I haven't been wearing makeup, so it doesn't move as fast as it probably could. Then we have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair, which um, is short of showing a gap here, so I'm assuming that's about where I am. Um, and basically it was full when I started. And when I do wear makeup, I do use this, and I really actually quite like it. Um, the first time I ever bought this, I bought it in the, what I thought was the lightest colour, which is I thought was 10, but 10 is not actually the lightest colour, 15 is the lightest colour. Um, and 10 was too dark and it never looked right and I didn't like it so um, I'm glad I went back and tried the 15 because I actually really like it. Then we have the Inglot highlighter in 85. Um, I haven't actually been using this so it's it doesn't look any different. <laughs> it might be one of those products that doesn't get used up or even hit pan on. Uh, then we have the Le Cherish Hand Cream. Um, this is a, quite a um, exotic kind of smell. Um, I actually really quite like it. It is a very thick hand cream. Um, it is definitely not got a lot left in it. Like there's there's not much in here. It's way down here somewhere. I don't think it's going to be too much longer before this is gone. Um, depending on how often I remember to use it, um, but. I, I quite like this. I was actually surprised. But I do actually really like this. So that is that one. So obviously I can't tell you where I am. But I'm down here somewhere. I don't. I, that should be done by next update. The Chapstick Hydration Look. Um, the balm which has two ends to it. So the nighttime end. This is the end that had to be smushed back in. Because my daughter kept playing with it. As you can see, it's a fair way down in there now. I don't think that's really probably got that much more to go. And the daytime side, which has SPF, has been getting a bit more of a workout. So it is getting down there now too. I like it well enough. It is a nice lips balm. The lip product very cherry from Maybelline which was my eldest lip product I've probably worn this once or twice I don't quite know how I ended up with three lip products in this particular well three lipsticks in this particular challenge but I did um, so I have made a new mark on this one that is the Maybelline one there. That's where we were when we started and that's where we are now. Then we have the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel, which was the product I was talking about works with the eye stylist. Um, I have no idea where I am. Clearly this is not a see-through container. Um, I just keep on using it. It hasn't gone... It's starting to get a bit gross looking. Um, you know, how you, you get a transfer of powder so, and it kind of ends up tinted. It's starting to do that a little. Um, then we have the L'Oreal lip liner in mm, Belle Naturel, um, which is one of my preferred lip liners, particularly for darkening up a lipstick. So that's that one there. Um, I have got a little tiny mark on this. We have moved a little tiny bit. So that is it there. So that's where we started. And that's where we are now. So teeny tiny little progress on that one. And the last one was one of the ones I added in last time, which was a product I had already hit pan on. And that was the Overtime eyeshadow from my Models Prefer um, the Shadows palette, which is basically a dupe for... Anybody guess? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've, I've used this a little bit. 
Um, this probably doesn't look too much different to last time, but I will insert a picture so you can see. So that is all of those. I have to draw out whoops, one item for the face mask that I finally used. So there we have my container. And all the little bits are in there. Stick my fingers in there. This will actually be item number 25 that I've actually drawn out, which should mean I'm halfway through. So this one says, <laughs> this thing hates me. It says, Luminizer. Okay. Hmm. not going to do that to myself. I'm going to draw a different one. <laughs> hey, my project. I said this before. Uh, okay. Hopefully this one won't be quite so bad. A face product. That is very um, not specific. Okay, so for a face product, I'm actually going to put in this sample, it's a gimme, of the Swiss Rosehip Facial Moisturiser, which I just got in a bell box. Um, it doesn't actually have um, SPF in it, so I'll have to make sure if I am going outside, it will, you know, help. But I'm nearly out of my face moisturiser that I'm currently using, so um, yeah, I'll start using this after... I have finished that. So that is it for this update of my Project 50 Pan Roulette. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up. If you like Project Pan type videos, click the bell for notifications so you know when I upload new videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.